Hello everyone, it's Rachel from Desert Blossom Crafts. Today I want to share with you a quick tutorial for this little angel square. This is a part of the Friendship Blanket Crochet Along. I am honored to be one of the designers for this cow, and this is the square that I am contributing. So if you'd like more information about the Friendship Cow, you can check out the description. But this is my pattern that is included, and I'm excited that I just get to show you how to work it up today. Now as we get started, there's a few things you're going to need. I'm using an I 5.5mm crochet hook along with worsted weight yarn. But you can really use any crochet hook. You want to make sure you obtain gauge so that you can make the 9 inch square to match up with all your other squares in the blanket. And then if you'd like a ad free PDF pattern, that is available on Etsy or Ravelry. The free version is on my blog, but to print it out, um, it will look something like this, plus a lot more pages with tutorials and lots more information. But these are available on Etsy and Ravelry, so all the links for that is down in the description box. But once you have your pattern, viewing it as you wish, plus your materials, we're all ready to get started. Alrighty, so to get started, I'm going to make a slip knot, and this is going to be our foundation row. It's important that you know that you need to not start with a chain stitch for this. So we're going to be making foundation single crochet. And if you're really unfamiliar with this technique, you can check out my tutorial in the cards. I have a much more detailed tutorial. Um, so I'll just show you quickly how to do it here. You're going to chain two, insert your hook into the second chain from your hook, pull up a loop. And what the foundation single crochet basically does is it makes the chain and the single crochet row at the exact same time. So you're going to pull through one loop, then turn your work, and now we're going to go and pull through both loops. So you can see here we've now made a single crochet and a chain. And we're just going to repeat this. So for the future ones you work into the bottom chain and we make more foundation single crochet. So like I said, there I do have a more detailed tutorial on this that you can look at. The reason I recommend starting with foundation single crochet is that the stitch pattern that the square uses, um, it just lends itself better to this. If you start with a chain, it will end up a little more lopsided because the foundation single crochet is a lot more stretchy. So anyway, I'm going to make a total of 31 foundation single crochets and then I will meet you back and we will do row one together. Alright, so here are my 31 foundation single crochets right here. To get started with row 1, we're simply going to chain 1 and turn and make a half double crochet in each one of these across. So I'm just going to half double crochet into the first foundation single crochet. So this chain 1 we did will not count as a stitch, it just kind of acts as a turning chain, um, but we're not counting it as a half double crochet. And I'm just going to half double crochet all the way down this foundation row. This is kind of like our setup row before we start doing the stitch pattern. So just keep making half double crochets all the way across until you have 31. Okay, so here are my 31 half double crochet. Our setup row is done. And to start row two, we're gonna start the same way, chain one, and turn. And now what we're going to do, let me just grab the square here. We're going to start the row that gives us a neat little knit type of look. So if I come up a little closer, you can see we have these rows where you can see these horizontal V's going across the work. And that is uses a technique that's called half double crochet in the third loop. So generally we would turn right and we would make our half double crochet right here. But we want that V to come to the front of the work. So we're going to go in the third loop, which is right here. I'll show you that again. So I'm just making my first half double crochet there. So again, normally we would go in the top of the stitch right here, but we're going right below that in this loop here. 
Let's do that one more time. So the loop is right here and we're just making a regular half double crochet into it. Now if we turn the work around, this is the front side and now you can see those cool V's are coming to the front. So this is what you're just going to repeat all the way across row two. Again, this technique is called working in the third loop of each half double crochet. And it's really a fun technique because it just gives the work an extra texture um, and it resembles knitting. In fact, I do have another video um, that's called How to Crochet the Camel Stitch. The Camel Stitch uses this technique, but it does, it, does so in a way that the whole surface looks like knitting. So if you want to check out another stitch tutorial, I'll leave that in the cards. But this is what your work is going to look like as you keep going. And again, if we turn it around, this is the front side. So just keep repeating that and I'll meet you back when I get to the end. So here I'm getting close to the end of the row. I just have two half double crochets left. So I just went in this third loop. I'm going to go in this one and this very last one um, is a little bit tricky. The third loop is the one that's sticking up here because we, if you look at it from the front, here is the top of the stitch and it kind of comes down a little bit because we started with just a chain one instead of a chain two. So the third loop is right here, but I kind of like to actually go through that third loop and half of the top of the stitch because it gives it a little bit more of a sturdy edge. So let me show you that one more time. So instead of just going in the third loop right here, I'm also just going to catch the loop behind it as well. And pull through and turn. So there we have our first half double crochet in the third loop row done. So for row three, now it is time to start the fun angels. So the pattern is going to get a lot different here. We're going to get to do some fun techniques. So start by chaining three, and this is going to count as a half triple crochet. Um, we'll do an actual half triple crochet soon, but for now we just need to do the chain three. Next we're going to make a regular triple crochet. So yarn over twice, and we're going to insert our hook right here because the chain three is going to actually count as a stitch right there. So we want to go in the second, what looks like the second stitch make a triple crochet and now we're going to make what's called a two double crochet cluster and if i bring up this square the two double crochet cluster make the wings of the angel while the triple crochet cluster is what makes the body of the angel all right so let's go ahead and make the wings so you're going to start and chain three again and now we're going to make this stitch that's kind of all by itself right here. So I'm going to yarn over, insert into the third chain, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, and repeat that one more time. Yarn over, insert, pull through two, and then pull through all three. So there's our first two double crochet cluster. Now it's time to make a triple crochet cluster, and we're going to do this over the next three stitches. So start by yarning over twice, and by the way, I will show you this again. <laughs> Insert into the next stitch. So here was the last triple crochet we did. We're gonna go right here, yarn over, pull up a loop, and we're gonna start by making a triple crochet, but we're not gonna finish it. So we're gonna leave these two loops on our hook right here. And we're gonna yarn over twice and act like we're making another triple crochet. So there's my second one. Now I have a third loop on the hook. Yarn over twice and do that again. Insert, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now I have four loops on my hook and at this point we're good to yarn over and pull through all four. So there we've made the body of an angel. And now it's time to make the second wing. So we're going to repeat what we did over here. Chain three, yarn over, insert hook into the third chain, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert hook, drop a loop, pull through two, 
and now pull through all three. So here we have, if I bring this out, we have the body and two wings all done. So we're just going to repeat this across, literally doing a body and then a wing, body and then a wing. So let's do it together one more time. So for the triple crochet cluster, I'm going to yarn over twice. And I know it seems a little counterintuitive to just keep going in every single stitch for these because the wings kind of will make the work expand. But as we do more rows, everything is going to straighten out just fine. So don't worry about it. Um, so we're going to, I've yarned over twice and we're going to go into the next stitch and make our first unfinished triple crochet. So two loops on hook, yarn over twice, insert hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now we have three loops on our hook. Yarn over twice again, and we're going to do this one more time. Pull through two, pull through two. Now I have four loops, which means we're good to yarn over and pull through to finish the body. All right, and let's do one more wing together as well. Chain three, yarn over, insert hook into the third chain, yarn over, pull up, pull through two, yarn over, insert, pull through two, and once we have three loops on our hook, then we're good to pull through again. Okay, so this is the process. You just are going to repeat across, and I will meet you back when I get to the ending. Okay, so here I'm almost done with all the angels, and I just have one triple crochet cluster left to do. So let me show you what this looks like. When you get to the end, there will be five stitches left, enough for one more angel, one, two, three, and then a triple crochet and a half triple crochet. So let's do that together. So I'm going to make my last triple crochet cluster here in the same exact way as before. There's my second unfinished triple crochet and here is my third unfinished one. Pull through all four loops and now you might think, oh I can just do the last two stitches but first we do have to make one more wing so don't forget about this chain three and we'll make this two double crochet cluster before doing the last two stitches. Okay, so now we're ready and we're gonna do one regular triple crochet right here and then we're gonna do a half triple crochet. So here's what that looks like. Um, you still yarn over twice, insert into the very last stitch and then yarn over, pull through two, and then instead of doing yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, two more times, you're just going to yarn over and pull through all three of the loops, okay? So it's just a little bit shorter, and I find it makes the edges a little bit more even. So there's row three, so now we're ready to do row four. So we're going to chain one and turn, and now we're going to be making kind of like the little heads of the angels. So I'm going to chain one half double crochet in the first triple crochet and half double crochet in the next one as well. And now we're going to be making some little chain loops. So I'm going to single crochet in the top of this two double crochet cluster. So we just kind of want to go in this chain because when we made the two double crochet cluster, remember we had a chain three and that's kind of the top of it. So that's where I'm going to make this single crochet. Just like that. And then I'm going to chain four and single crochet in the next two double crochet cluster. So we're completely skipping all this stuff in between. We're just going from two double crochet cluster to the next two double crochet cluster and making these little chain spaces that become kind of like the heads of the angels. So chain four, and here's our next single crochet. Let's do that one more time. Chain four, and here's our next single crochet. So let's see what this looks like. 
So this is the wrong side of the work. So if we turn it out this way, that's what we've got going on. So we're just going to keep repeating this all the way across for row four. Just like that. So here I am at the end. I've done my last single crochet into this two double crochet cluster and to end, the last thing I need to do is just half double crochet in the triple crochet and then half double crochet in the half triple or this chain three space we have. So I'm just gonna go in the top chain right here and half double crochet. And that is row four all done. For row five, we're gonna chain one and turn again. And we're just gonna be doing some simple half double crochet across for this row. So go ahead and half double crochet in the first two half double crochets. And now we're just gonna be going in each chain space. So I'm gonna do three half double crochet in each chain space across. So one, two, three, one, oops, two, three, and just keep repeating this. So this is the row that kind of brings it all back together because the cluster row really makes the work start to expand. But once we get going with the regular half double crochet rows again, it really brings it all together into a nice even edge, as you can see. So just keep doing that all the way across. And this is basically the last new row, if you will, because the next row we're gonna be working the half double crochets in the third loop again, which is nothing new. We already kind of learned how to do that. But yeah, this is row five. Just keep doing three half double crochet in each chain space. Here I am at the end and I've done three half double crochet in the last chain space and the last thing I need to do is just do two half double crochet at the end. So I'm doing one here and one in the last half double crochet. And then like I said, for row six, you'll just chain one turn and start doing the half double crochets in the third loop. So the first third loop is going to be right here. And again, this is exactly the same as before. Just working the half double crochet in the different loops so that the V's come to the front. So I'll just do this a few times with you and then show you what it looks like. Okay. So if we turn it around, there's those V's starting to form again as we bring them to the front. So to make the square, this is everything you really need to know. You're just going to keep repeating rows three through six. So the cluster row, the chain loop row, the half double crochet in the chain spaces, and then the half double crochet in the third loop, this one. So three, four, five, six. And that's what you're just going to keep repeating until your square, according to gauge, you would do it until you have a total of 18 rows all together. Um, if you want to, you can adjust this, but that is the gauge. As long as you obtain gauge at the beginning, you're going to want to do 18 rows and you will have a square that fits in with all your other squares for the friendship blanket. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, I know this was a little bit of a quicker tutorial as far as explaining all the techniques. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I would love to get in touch with you. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I would love to see you around the channel more. I'm releasing new videos every Tuesday and Friday, and that includes tons of stitch tutorials and free crochet patterns. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!